Some environmentalists in Edo State have attributed uh, the recent uh, devastating floods to environmental injustice and climate change. Speaking during the second Niger Delta Climate Change Exhibition organized by Connected Advocacy in Benin City, they say there is the need to act fast to stop the environmental injustice and climate crisis ravaging the region. They also advocate environmental sustainability, cleaning up uh, before building of dams to curtail the flooding, and comprehensive environmental assessment of impact of gas flaring in the entire Niger Delta region, particularly host communities. The stakeholders further recommend a move to green energy as the only lasting solution to the continual degradation to the climate. The local community in the Niger Delta has been suffering the brunt of the impact of this fossil fuel extraction. So today, it has the resultant effect of that is what we have today as flooding, they call it now natural disaster, loss of livelihood. The government cannot pretend to have been taken by surprise. The flooding, we saw it coming. And it's going to happen again next year. And yes, it's going to be worse in the future. There has been a need to build a protective dam on River Benue so that when the Cameroonians release water in their dam, it can be trapped there. If that is not done, we're going to have more water from more rain, more flooding coming, and it's going to be worse disasters. But in the scientific way and looking at it globally, what has resulted in this flood is, an, is as a result of the excess CO2 and other greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. It's increasing our temperature and causing temperature rise in the world. And what we are seeing, the global north are experiencing melting of the ice, and the water is definitely going to find its level. It's finding its level down down to the south and we are seeing the impact here.